action. Officers down in front of the bank. Automatic weapons being fired. Easy, 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 easy. You want to drive or can I drive? Michael freaking Bay. I just have to say his name, and you know exactly what his latest movie, Ambulance, will be like. There'll be explosions. There'll be lightning fast cuts. There'll be constantly moving cameras, some extreme close ups, and did I mention explosions? And while some people might hate on the guy for that, there's a reason why film schools around the world have entire units devoted to this director. He started out making commercials and music videos, including this one. And, I would do for love. and this one. But the release of Bad Boys way back in 1995 established Bay as one of the preeminent purveyors of the big budget action movie. Over the next two decades, he gave us movies like The Rock, Armageddon, and Pearl Harbor, as well as five Transformers movies. Now, you could argue that some of those films aren't actually very good, and the world would probably be a better place without four of those Transformers movies especially Revenge of the Fallen, which featured a close-up of a Decepticon's robot testicles. I am directly below. Enemy scrotum. Seriously, why? But you can't argue with Bay's box office return, which stands at more than eight and a half billion dollars. So when he set out to make Ambulance as a little filler project during the pandemic, you better believe investors were willing to give him a lazy $40 million, which is cheap by his standards. The film, which is a remake of a 2005 Danish film of the same name, centres on adopted siblings Danny and Will, who are played by Jake Gyllenhaal and Yahya Abdul-Mateen. Will is a military veteran whose service to his country doesn't seem to count for much when it comes to sourcing medical care for his wife who has cancer. So he's reluctantly convinced to rob a bank with his bro, who, let's say, isn't nearly as virtuous. But the heist all goes to shit when the pair find themselves in a hijacked ambulance that comes complete with a cop that one of them shot and the ambo officer who is trying to keep the guy alive. Do you have EMT experience? Combat three eyes. You're a soldier? Yeah. We are trying to save you. As if that's not bad enough, the LAPD and SWAT are soon in hot pursuit, and the movie's excessively long two-hour runtime is essentially one long car chase, except when it becomes a helicopter chase. The Ambo officer is played by Mexican star Asa Gonzalez, who brings a typically fiery performance to the role, and the dynamic between her and the bank robbers is the key to the movie. In fact, Gyllenhaal and Yaya are pretty good too, even if all three actors are forced to make the most of fairly limited material. The film has its comic moments, like when Danny and Will harmonise to the Yacht Rock classic Sailing by Christopher Cross. Sailing takes me away to where I always want to be. These guys are nut jobs. But there just aren't enough of them to balance the non-stop action onslaught. In a world of superhero movies that are all shot in front of a green screen, it's actually a nice change of speed to see a director that blows real shit up. For better or worse, Ambulance is unapologetically 100% Michael Bay, and you have to respect that. It gets two and a half stars. Uh -oh.